So John Cena finds himself in the news this week, and no, it's not pertaining to his filming of the Transformers spin-off movie about Bumblebee. It's not about the animated movie Ferdinand that's coming out and he's out there doing promotional tours for. Instead, it's about something else for the auto geek in him. Apparently, John has been a very, very, very naughty, naughty boy. Some of you, I'm sure, most of you, probably all of you, hell, have seen the reports talking about how Ford Motor Company, that's right, Ford, is suing John Cena. Those are the reports. They are suing John Cena. Why? Well, here's the basic, not too boring breakdown. Ford did 500 of the GTs for 2017. It's like a 600 something horsepower V6 uh, American bastardized version of the Lamborghini or Ferrari, basically. It's Ford attempt at doing that type of car. And in order to get this vehicle that they only did 500 of, you had to sit there, not only have the $500,000 to be able to buy it, but you had to uh, put your name into consideration to even be chosen to be one of the 500 people. And then on top of that, you had to sign an agreement which, among other things, forbid the buyer from selling the car for at least two years. And you can see the GT that Cena bought. There's a YouTube clip out there with him showing it off. I mean, it's a slick looking ride, but again, ultimately, it it looks like a blue DeLorean more than a, <laughs> a rip off Ferrari or Lamborghini. But hey, you got five hundred thousand worth of fuck off money. Why not? Because only five hundred of them or so were made. I believe it was. But Cena apparently decided that he was going to sell it and the report was that he sold that and some other property for financial reasons now that really makes you wonder is john cena in some financial trouble how the hell can famous people athletes celebrities that get a shit ton of money get themselves into this type of trouble is it overspending is it bad investments is it so on and so forth or did the guy just simply see an opportunity uh, to make money on other property and his car uh, and therefore he decided to strike because he just didn't really want the car that much. It was more about saying that he got it and it was one of the people that was able to get it as much as anything else. I don't know. I've seen no public records. We have no um, recent looks into John Cena's financials to know. So who really cares? But it is the whole premise and concept of John Cena, the golden boy, the goody good of goody goods, not following a basic contract that said you couldn't sell the damn car for two years. Did you think Ford wasn't going to know that you sold the damn vehicle? Did you think that a vehicle that they charge $500,000 for, that <laughs> you had to go through this whole application process to be able to get, you didn't think that they were going to know that that car had moved, you know, changed ownership? The title had been changed, anything like that. You didn't think, John, that they would know? I mean, I don't know if that's ridiculous or just stupid or arrogance thinking it didn't matter. I don't know. But you have to know that as much as a big hubbub as Ford makes about selling that GT, that they were going to make a big deal about tracking it on the back end. So now they're suing him for the profits that he made for the lost market value because he sold it before two years and it potentially impacting resale value down the road and blah 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 and skipty skip and whoop de woo bottom line is cena tried to pull some breakfast club bullshit and ford is calling him on it and all the praying to god on the hunter the hearst and the helmsley isn't going to help you here john all of the politicking probably isn't going to help you here john you made a naughty, you made a boo-boo, and now you're going to have to fork over some dough. I just, I can't imagine what possesses somebody who knows they've signed a written agreement that says you can't sell a car for two years to sell it after like six months or a year. <laughs> You'd think that the Ford Motor Company's not going to know, like they can't go through DMV records and see that the title has been signed over to somebody else. <laughs> It just goes to show you people that all the money in the world 
and all the celebrity and fame and power in the world sometimes can't buy your brains and good common sense and logic. And I don't know if Nikki Bella is spending them into oblivion. I don't know, and I don't care. But whatever happens here, he deserves it for being just plain ass stupid. The whole thing is, you can't see me, you can't see me. Well, apparently Ford put on some night vision mother frickin' goggles, and they saw right through your crap, John, and they're coming to get you.